by Michael Anthony Fitness at MAF Giggy Con, as I'm known on this channel. And today we're going to talk about two features, at least in my market, I've seen it in my second market, and others have talked about this on YouTube, that DoorDash is doing away with. But before we get into that, if you want to sign up for VHO, use my referral link in the description down below to sign up for VHO. There's only 10 spots available. So the first 10 who successively get on with VHO will be able to use my referral link in the description down below to sign up for VHO and jump the lines of being accepted on VHO using my referral link in the description down below. And also, too, if you want 15 cents off more a gallon for gas for your first fill-up, which is 15 cents additional to whatever that gas station that's with the Get Upside program is offering, use my link in the description down below. But with all that said, I got a few words for y'all before we get into today's video. Hit it! So, two, not one, but two features that I've seen doing DoorDash this week that DoorDash is getting rid of. When you first sign on the DoorDash, once you get your schedule, they have those questions you have to answer. Did you get gas? Does your phone fill up? Do you have this? Do you have that? They have done away with that in my market and the second market that I work. Also, when you decline an order, DoorDash has gotten rid of that screen. As of April 5th, you will no longer see that screen that asks you those 10 questions of why you declined the order. Now, every time I decline an order, I'm still getting similar orders. Orders are that are coming from those restaurants that I have declined from. So really, those 10 questions does not benefit me as a driver to begin with. And if I happen to see an offer while I'm driving, it's, it's just disappointing because it takes away the safety factor of driving. Because before they got rid of this feature, you have four different steps you have to click on. Decline, are you sure you want to decline? Why you declined? And are you sure you want to decline the order? As well as clicking what option you want to decline. So really five different steps. Now, this takes it down to one step. Maybe two. But you click the decline button and it declines the order. Now, I have seen instances where it has asked me still to, are you sure you want to decline? But the fact that you take it down from four to five steps to one or two for a safety is great. Because then you have to, I still have your eyes on the road and don't have much to do. Now, half the time I don't see the orders anyway because I'm driving and I have my phone on do not disturb while I'm working. So I'm not distracted. But when I do see the orders, it can be distracting. And I'm glad that DoorDash is taking steps to make it safer for drivers while we're driving. Especially getting rid of those four questions when you um, sign on to DoorDash. Just click Dash now and it's dashing. Now, other apps don't have this, this foolishness on there. Just click decline and keep it moving. Now, I believe Grubhub had it of why you want to decline the order. But for the most part, ever since I started doing DoorDash, it's always been on DoorDash. And I'm glad they're getting rid of this feature to make it safer for us drivers. 
to make it safe for, for us drivers while we're on the road, making our money, making our bread and butter. And that's my thoughts on those two features, getting rid of the um, list that they have before you start your dash and getting rid of why you're declining an order because it does not benefit us drivers. If I click on the option that says too small of an order, they're still filtering me orders that are the same or smaller than the order that I clicked on, too small of an order. And the same thing with the restaurants. I have declined orders from restaurants because I don't want to go to those restaurants and I'm still getting flooded with a few orders that are coming from that same restaurant. Now, I don't know if this is permanent or temporary, but they are making steps to make the platform better. So it's Michael Anthony Fitness. I'm going to get up out of here like Mr. Vontae Davis and drop these packages off. But before I get up out of here, if y'all like the content y'all heard today, make sure y'all consider rubbing that fist and punch that subscribe button. Ring that sexy bell. And Hulk smash, Hulk smash, Hulk smash that like button. And I got to get up out of here and drop these packages off for my pops. Like Mr. Vante Davis. And I'll see y'all next video or live stream. Peace.